guys, it's Climber P24 here. Today we have another Aerosol Club sponsored Aerosol Club review. Today our video review is on the Element Gen 2 Helmet Light in Tan. Really nice helmet light, got some bright LEDs as well as an IR identity um, thing on it as well. Um, it's meant to mount on Mitch 2000s. I've had to modify it to fit my Mitch 2000, which I'll show you guys what I've done. Um, other than that, really nice piece, and let's get straight on to this video review. This Climber P24 Aerosol review is brought to you by AerosolClub.com. This is the Element Gen 2 Helmet Light. It costs $24.99 on AirSoftClub.com. It's actually a surprisingly good deal for a helmet light. Um, on it right now is the helmet mount itself, which basically clips onto the inner shell of a Mitch 2000 helmet. Um, these little pieces clip in, and there is a screw that goes in. Unfortunately, um, I was getting it modified to fit my helmet, and the screw that went in here fell out, so I'm just using uh, just your standard machine screw. Um, and the way that I modified it, you guys can kind of already guess, drill the hole into the helmet and put the screw in and it holds on nice and tight. Um, what it did to the helmet though is it, the, pla the screw didn't go in perfectly straight because the helmet was, is bent slightly so it, it did leave some plastic wear out. Um, but since this is pressed up nice and tight, it's not hitting my head at all and it's staying nice and sturdy in there. So I'll show you guys on my helmet in a minute. Alright, that's the mount itself. It's uh, made out of this sort of... Part of it's hard plastic, and it's like this rubbery material that goes up against the helmet, so pretty nice. It's just attached with two Phillips head machine screws. Alright, here's the light itself. Very, very nice. Um, see, in my room it's a little bit darker, so I could probably show you guys what the function of it is. Alright, uh, this is the red LEDs. Okay, This is the lowest setting, middle, and highest setting. So there's, only, there's uh, five LEDs, two of which are red. Then you flip it over, here's the white LEDs, lowest, middle, highest. So, kind of bright, um, runs on a CR123A battery, so kind of neat. Um, and then you flip this switch here, which turns on your, ident or your IR thing. Now, it's very, very tiny and just bright. Thing is, is I actually have a set of night vision goggles, which I'll show you guys an example of how it works right now. Alright, as you guys have seen, the IR feature, I think it's a pretty neat feature to include on this flashlight, uh, or this helmet light, I should say. Um, another thing that actually comes with it is a rail mount, and the mounting uh, piece for the rail mount, as well as a set of machine screws for that. Um, this basically is the exact same mount that you have for the helmet, and it just screws on to this rail piece and attaches to your gun wherever you need it. Um, one thing, let me just get this out again, is... Where you put the two screws in at the bottom, there is some plastic, um, you know, from when drilling, so just some leftover plastic, and just on some other components of the mount. Um, so, if you're kind of picky with leftover plastic or whatever, and you want to have it completely, you know, perfect, perfect detail, um, the, this is basically repoed off of the Sherpa, are they, Surefire, Surefire helmet light. So if you want to get like the high-end official one, get the Surefire. If you just want to get the $25 replica one, get the Element. Basically, to sum it off, I really think this is a very good you know, investment if you want to just have a really just basic helmet light um, on your stuff. Um, I actually got one because the KSK uses them, and I thought you know, it would be cool to have one when I go to Viper um, and not just use a flashlight on the gun or with my pistol or whatever. Just already have a flashlight up um, so I can... Uh, see inside rooms, uh, see inside the rooms and the buildings and whatever. Um, other than that, pretty good deal. Twenty four ninety nine airsoftclub.com. If you don't like the red feature with the the red lights, there are also other ones available, and there's other color options, including black and foliage green. I'll put some links in the description where you guys can get these from. Um, also, my question for you guys today: Do you guys run flashlights? If you do, what flashlights do you run? If you don't, why why don't you? Um, just post it in the comments below. I'd like to see what you guys what your responses are. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe up above for more airsoft list sponsored airsoft reviews, and we'll see you guys later. Alright guys, just a quick thing. Uh, this is how I mounted my the helmet light on my Mitch 2000. As you can see, this hole right here is where I drilled the uh, hole for, for this screw. It basically fits in there when I put the helmet light on, so let me just put the helmet light on. Alright guys, so the mount is installed. It's just a really basic screw that I just drilled the hole for. 
Here's the flashlight. It pretty much just clips on. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, so it's clipped on. Pretty much that's what it looks like on the side of my Mitch. So thanks guys for watching.